ow, 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 ow. Scratch that. You're gonna do another injury. Ouch. <laughs> Hello, friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be telling you the story of Jonah and the big, 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 big fish. So, this story all starts when happy Jonah, like happy like me, because I'm really active today. Happy Jonah is walk is just um when happy Jonah is um doing his thing, and God says, "Oh Jonah, can you do something for me?" And Jonah says, "Yes, God, I could do anything for you. What do you want me to do?" And he said that, "Can you um?" This that is a country called Nineveh, and they are really bad. There's really bad people in the country, and the king is so foolish when the the poor have to do the work, and the king is just eating and enjoying himself. Ah ha ha! And then the people that fight and steal and kill their own brothers is so bad. And Jonah replied, "Yes, I know those people. Our country are against them, and they keep on hurting our women. They keep on attacking our country too. But I still don't understand why. What? Why do you need me? Well, if they carry on, God said, I will. Mm, they will be killed. They. They will be. Uh, I will flood their country in forty days. If they." If they improve themselves, they will stay safe. Yeah, God, but what are you telling me? You will have to go to their country and tell them that you ha they have to stay. They have to that they have to change their ways. And if they don't, the country will be destroyed. Jonah was absolutely scared. Countrymen will even be mad at me and might even kill me because we're against them, and they would be more than happy to know that that our country that we're against is destroyed. Yes, but I would like them to have a chance. God said. Jonah sat down and thought about it.、Hmm. Should I go to the town of Nineveh or should I just stay?、Hmm. He didn't know what to do, and God, God had like, like was watching Jonah, and he was just there.、Uh, hmm. Maybe if I run away, I won't be able to do his task, and he won't be able to find me. So if I run away, and he will be able to find me, I don't need to do the task. Okay, so he went into the barren lands. Little Jonah, he went through the barren lands. He went so far away, and then he saw a boat, big boat.、And、this boat was going to a different country. So he's like, "Oh, can I come into this boat?" So um, he persuaded the captain. If he could go, and they have finally agreed. So he hopped onto the boat, and there he was, running away. And、uh, those people that on the boat who worshipped other gods, but he never said anything. Eventually, he was so tired, and he went down to the bottom of the boat and just had a little nap. Up on deck, though, there was a gigantic storm. <laughs> People were screaming. And they were they were worried, and they kept on getting the luggage, the furry cargo、uh, like boxes and stuff like that out of the ship. And it was just taking water out because it was flooding the boat. And one man was like, one ran down to the bottom of the boat, like Jonah, what are you doing? How are you sleeping? There's a big storm going on. And Jonah Jonah woke up. And he said, "Pray to your gods. We've been praying to our gods so long, but there's nothing. Nothing's working." <sighs> Jonah said, 
Don't worry, this is the work of my God. Did you do anything to accept it? I mean, to accept him? He said, yeah, he told me to do something and I didn't do it. Instead, I ran away. <sighs> what shall we do? Um, I think you, uh, the only thing you can do is to throw me out of the ship. Throw you out of the ship? We cannot do that. It's the only way the storm is going to go away. So they did what Jonah said. And Jonah fell into the water or the ocean. He must have held his breath because, breath because he wouldn't survive without holding your breath, would you? He was just underwater. And then... Uh, Big fish! He gobbled up Jonah! Uh oh. And the whole place was dark. So dark. And Jonah was in there. So worried the big fish was just swimming. It smelled so stinky. Yeah. <sighs> I bet it stung like fish. And while he was there, he prayed to God to hope that he would get out of the fish. And because he knew that God was planning all of this, the big fish only gobbled up Jonah because God did it. And he was, in the, he was so cold and still smelly and he was scared and worried and then three nights and three days went past and he was still in the big fish he was scared and worried stinky must have smelled after three days and he got spit out the, the big whale spat him out and he was set free on the land and, whoa so it's probably be smelly. Whew, but it's such a very happy time to now see sunlight. Whew, I've never, I've never experienced, never seen sunlight for three days. I wonder how did he survive in the big fish in three days? I wonder. Anyway, so he he got spit out. Then he talked to God again. You cannot run away from me, God said. I'd always there and I'll be always watching you and see what you do. Did he say that? Anyways, and Jonah said, it gave him an apology and he said he will do the test. So this time, instead of running away, he walked to Nineveh or travelled to Nineveh and he travelled and travelled and travelled. He got there. He wasn't, he was kind of scared but yeah, he did it and he talked to everyone. He teached everyone about God and everyone believed in him and started being good people in the country. And for that, the country would not be like would not be destroyed. And that's all because of Jonah's help. So I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos and for more people to know this amazing story. See you all guys next time. Goodbye.